hello again um, the, I'm going to look at the process of adding comments for form teachers the approach is really simple um, first of all you will receive an email and the email will look something like this I could just get this a little bit smaller you will receive an email like this conduct and personality in this case I'm using 3CL1 um, again you know, all you have to do is either click it or just click open you'll get a form which looks like this now um, we have what we call social comments and we have um, behavioral comments um, these are the students here on your left and these are the, the categories under which you add your comments um, so the comments are listed from 1 to 7 um, where 1 represents poor, 2 unsatisfactory, um, 3 um, represents satisfactory I just put in the Y there um, 4 for fair, 5 for good, um, 6 is very good and 7 excellent now the table is already set all you have to do is to um, click these buttons here and you add whatever comment you want to add there all right um, please notice that as you add your grades sorry your, 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 your listing of points it changes the descriptor and also the average conduct please do not do anything to these two um, these two columns or the one on the end or the ones on the end here as that is what we use to do the calculation of course if you wanted let's say you had a six here and you wanted to put six right across here or seven whichever the case might be all you have to do is to come here make sure you're let me undo that so that you can see can come here and um, drag across by holding the left side of your mouse and stop immediately where you want to stop you'll notice that all those areas are filled in the same thing can be done going down and if you notice we have this so that when you do your scrolls up and down you can still have the, the indicators on the top right the same thing goes for when you move across um, so I hope that you don't have a real issue with using this table that's basically what you're expected to do with this table All the, the full table should be filled out and uh, please remember that um, this table the names here depend on the previous table that was given that is the demographics table so you have to ensure that all the information in your demographics is correct um, if there are students to be added I would suggest that you do not add them for, your, for yourself but um, it would be good if you consult system admin to do that for you and I'm saying that because if you make any changes here it might affect other things alright thanks that's basically it so all you have to do is just to fill in the table with the numbers from 1 to 7 I also think, and let me just try this, that you should be able to just type in the number right? so if you are having a problem with um, basically the drop down you can type the number once a number is going to be a number with um, from 1 to 7 and then you press enter Okay, that's basically it for this you don't need to save anything it is auto saved um, so you don't need to worry about that All right. thank you so much for your time